Hello, I'm Grant Knobloch, Conditioning Product Manager with Brock Grain Systems. Today, we'll be answering the question, are you over drying your grain? With 10 minutes full of grain conditioning tips. Let's start with the question, why condition grain? We condition grain so that it can be stored safely, enabling market opportunities. Having a dryer on the farm enables you to finish harvest sooner so you can accomplish more field work in the fall. As we look towards the fall of 22 and the 2023 calendar year, what are producers concerned about? Based on the Purdue Ag Economy Barometer that came out this summer, producers are most concerned about higher input costs. Let's talk about opportunities to manage input costs and improve efficiency when drying grain. Improving dryer efficiency starts with keeping your dryer clean. A dryer runs best when it is clean. All dryers get dirty regardless of their type, and this includes keeping your dryer's plenum and screens clean. A dirty dryer struggles to breathe, reducing CFM airflow across the grain. Keeping your burner clean will ensure it is running efficiently all season long. Dirty burners struggle to achieve optimal fuel to air mixture which results in poor flame quality and inefficient burn history. A clean dryer is an efficient dryer. Two, run your dryer at the proper operating temperature. Increasing your plenum temperature will increase bushel per hour throughput while decreasing your cost per bushel. Air's ability to carry moisture increases with temperature. Keep a close eye on grain quality as the temperature set point is adjusted to ensure it is below where it will damage the grain. If you're seeing discoloration of kernels or stress cracking, your plenum temperature is too high. Number three, avoiding over drying will increase your farm's efficiency by reducing energy consumption. Over drying grain has unfavorable effects on grain quality. Here, we are looking at the effect of final moisture on the breakage susceptibility of corn. In this study, 25% moisture corn was dried and then evaluated for breakage. Over drying to 13% final moisture put one out of four kernels at risk of breaking. Over drying to a final moisture of 11% put two out of five kernels at risk of breaking. Take home message, dry your grain to the necessary moisture based on your anticipated storage timeframe. Overdrying grain increases shrink loss as the final moisture content drops. If you think about a kernel being made up of dry matter and water, shrink is expected as water is removed from the kernel. Overdrying causes excess shrink, which costs you money. Overdrying grain wastes energy. BTU per pound of water removed is how we measure efficiency when drying grain, similar to miles per gallon in your truck. If you think about a kernel being like a sponge, it is easy to remove moisture when it is wet. As the grain is dried, it becomes harder to remove moisture from the kernel. It is like trying to get water out of a dry sponge. It takes a lot of energy to remove the small amount of remaining water. Grain drying factors that you can control are plenum air temperature, airflow across the grain, and the length of time that grain is exposed to the heat and air. Time, heat, and air are controllable factors when drying grain. Other factors that influence the drying process are initial grain moisture, ambient air temperature, the price of fuel, and the price of electricity. We might have some influence over these factors, however, they are mostly outside of our control. What might over drying grain cost you? Let's say that you want to make sure absolutely sure that your dryer will get your corn below 15% moisture, so you set it to overdry by 1%. Maybe you despise seeing dockage on your grain receipt from the elevator and you are tired of trying to set your dryer, so you turn up the heat and end up with an average final moisture of 13% as a dried corn insurance policy. What is the premium price you might be paying for this insurance policy? For easy math, let's say you harvest 100,000 bushels of corn and overdry it by 1%. This will cost around $1,500 of liquid propane and 1,200 bushels lost to shrink. It may not sound like much, 
However, it adds up to $8,700. If you were to over dry all your corn to a final moisture of 13%, it will cost around $3,000 of liquid propane and 2,400 bushels lost to shrink, putting the insurance premium price tag at $17,000. What's the bottom line? Over drying your grain might be costing you more than you think. What are some ways that you can reduce your drying cost? Let's talk about it. I ran some numbers to compare running a superb SQ dryer in different modes to see how it changed capacity, energy consumption, and ultimately the cost per bushel dried. This comparison assumed five points of moisture removal with all other factors being equal. On an SQ28 set to pressure heat, pressure cool, the capacity is 540 bushels per hour, using 2,700 BTU per pound of water removed, equating to a drying cost of 16.4 cents per bushel. On the same dryer set to pressure heat vacuum cool, the capacity increased to 600 bushels per hour, while energy efficiency improved using only 2,300 BTU per pound of water removed. This results in a drying cost of 13.6 cents per bushel, at 13.6 cents per bushel, it costs 2.7 cents per point of moisture removed. To reduce your drying cost, run your dryer set to pressure heat and vacuum cooling. Capacity will increase while overall operating cost will be more favorable. Let's look at another opportunity to lower your input cost by comparing the cost of drying your grain on the farm to a commercial elevator. For the commercial numbers, I looked at large corn buyers' policies across the corn belt and averaged their charge. This is a conservative number. Let's assume we are drying grain from 20 to 15%. Using the figures from the previous example, on-farm drying costs 2.7 cents per point of moisture removed, while the commercial charge is 4 cents per point. Based on information that we have, on-farm shrink is calculated at 5.88%. A typical grain elevator would charge for shrink at over 7% for five points of moisture removed. Drying 100,000 bushels on farm shrink cost around $35,000, while commercial shrink would cost $43,500. Drying 100,000 bushels of corn will cost $48,500 on farm compared to $63,500 commercially. Drying on farm could save you $15,000 per 100,000 bushels dried. On farm drying gives you more flexibility and control of your harvest. We have looked at grain quality and economics of drying. What are some tools that you can put into your toolbox? You need a quality dryer that is partnered with a quality control system. Brock uses Intuit Dry dryer control with True Grain Moisture Sensing System. Set your target moisture at 14.8, and the moisture control system will do the rest, keeping moisture on target. Intua Dry controls the dryer based on incoming and outgoing grain moisture. Intua Dry enables superior quality control as it utilizes a moving moisture target feature as incoming moisture changes throughout the day. To help prevent over drying, the controller automatically reduces the plenum heat if the unloading limit is reached. Let's talk about True Grain in more detail. True Grain Moisture Sensing was created by Brock engineers who wanted to find a more consistent way of measuring moisture. True Grain feeds grain through the moisture sensor at a constant speed, keeping a consistent volume of grain in the sensor, which uses parallel sensing technology to measure moisture. Parallel sensing reduces variability between moisture measurements while taking out the impacts of condensation and fines. TrueGrain has a temperature probe that measures temperature at the same time as moisture, providing a higher level of discharge moisture accuracy. We have a TrueGrain moisture sensing system on display at the farm show. Any of the Brock folks are happy to show you how it works. Take home tips. Number one, keep your dryer clean. All grain dryers of all types get dirty. It is important to keep dryers clean so that they can breathe. A clean dryer is an efficient dryer that puts more money into your pocket. Two, dryers run cheaper at higher operating temperatures as long as you keep temperatures below where it will damage the grain. And three, controlling dryers based on entering and exiting moisture 
will enable you to reduce the risk of over drying your grain. Thank you for your attention. For more information on grain conditioning and other 10 minute tips from Brock, visit our website at brockgrain.com. From everyone at Brock, thank you and have a great day.